Hello, I'm Jeff Evers, president of Paver Protectors. Today we're on a job site to explain our Paver Protectors process and to give you an overall description of what we do, the details of how we do it, and what you can expect when hire us to clean and seal your pavers. Upon arriving to your home, we're gonna knock on the door and introduce ourselves, and our sealing technician is gonna explain the process and what we're doing at your home and identify any problem areas that you may have concern with. First part of our process is we're gonna do a thorough cleaning of the area that's gonna be sealed. We're gonna treat any mold, mildew, and weeds that are in the area. We don't want any contaminants on the surface prior to sealing. Once this part of the process is done, then we can proceed to seal the pavers. At this stage of the process, if you have chosen our optional service of resanding the joints, we are gonna wet sand the pavers in order to get the sand levels down to an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch below the chamfer edge of the brick. This is gonna give you nice stability and help retard weed growth. When sanding, we use our enhanced sealer with sand joint stabilization. What that means is our sealer will penetrate into the joints and harden that sand to prevent further washout from the weather. When we get to this stage of the process, we're gonna inspect any areas that need further attention prior to us sealing. This brings us to the final phase of the paper sealing process. Using one of our proprietary sealers that has been chosen specifically for your job, we're gonna go ahead and commence with the sealing. When sealing the pavers, we actually spray our sealers so that we get uniform coverage and prevent those unsightly roll marks. We pay very close attention to any delicate areas and we use spray shields where necessary to avoid any overspray on unwanted areas. The number of coats that we put down is job specific. If the job requires more sealer, you're gonna get more sealer to achieve the desired result at no additional charge to you. We pay very close attention to the absorption rate. We definitely wanna avoid over applying which can cause puddling and adhesion issues as the sealer starts to cure. When sealing pool decks, we do seal the pool coping as well, but that's meticulously done by hand so that we can avoid any excessive amounts of sealer getting into your pool. Once the sealing process has been completed, we secure the job site. We put up caution tape at the end of the driveway to avoid any unwanted traffic for 48 hours, and we also make sure that all the pool cage doors are locked and secure. Thank you for allowing us to explain our paver protectors process. It's important to us that you understand exactly what we do and how we do it. For more information, please give us a call or visit our website at mypaversealing.com. Thank you.